Guess me, how many each? How many each do you guess? How many? You think my arms are? 15. 15? Hmm. 15 inches? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you must do that. Yeah, you have to do that. Fifteen uh, point two point one point one yes fifteen point one from day one we're going to work out for twenty two days in the starting high now. On day one we are starting with inclined waiter curls uh, that is using the dumbbells and we're going to do nine reps of three sets. That will be it for the arms because we are only doing one workout per day as we go forward to the following day which will be tomorrow. On day two, we are going to do bench dips, four sets to failure. This is going to be a triceps movement. And here, you just control the movement all the way up, all the way down for the first day. We make, there are no pulses. It's just going every, each and every set to failure. And you're going to do your four sets. <laughs> you're bouncing. Huh? You're bouncing. I just bounced my ass from the ground. <laughs> On the third day is going to be a bicep workout, which is we're using uh, alternating uh, dumbbells for hammer curls. And on this day, I, I started with the uh, with single arms, but I would recommend that you start with alternating arms and you start with a very lightweight weight that will allow you to go for at least 12 reps for four sets of this workout. It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend of me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything On the fourth day, we are going to do a triceps workout, which is a triceps pull down, and we're going to do um, four sets of 12 reps each, and you do a weight that you can easily handle amount amount of weight that can allow you, allow you to at least handle 12 reps for the four sets. Hey kid. On the fifth day, we are going to do a biceps workout, and this workout is cheat barbell curls. And in this one, we are going to do five is five sets eccentric uh, as we slow down, which means that as we we are going to cheat our way up, and as we slow it down, we are going to slow down in a count of three reps, like one, two, three. Then you go up again, and another one, two, three. We are going to do that for eight sets of. Uh, 12 reps each this is going to be this is going to be a, a very brutal workout guys in fact this is one of the worst workout you can ever go through it's really burning it's banging the biceps but we know that also makes makes it one of the best in gaining those biceps Ooh. and to the sixth day we are going to do pjr pull overs which we are going to do eight reps for four sets and these are very awesome triceps workout guys if you've never tried this you should try this it really hits on the long head of the triceps really really well and you make sure that you, you make sure you slow the weight down and you you push it up you slow the weight down and you push it up
and on the seventh day you are going to give yourself a rest and on eighth day we come back with the uh, inclined waiter curls but this time round we're going to make sure you do uh, three pulses for each and every rep uh, we do make sure we do 12 reps of four sets this is a super taxing and it's super brutal workout guys but the, by the way when if you do this workout at least now in the second week you're already trying to starting to feel some 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 a little bit of a little bit of strength you're gaining a little bit of strength on your biceps and and triceps and also you are seeing some signs of of growth you see yeah. make sure you push yourself to a level that you're finishing the reps i know it's not easy and that's why it's not easy to find guys with awesome arms because it's never easy getting them <laughs> we're going to, on day nine we are going to do uh bench dips but with three pulses in each and every rep and we're going to do uh four sets of to failure guys and this is not an easy workout as long as you make sure that you control uh, the triceps and every movement goes up and down and you feel the triceps squeeze at the top guys it's going to be an awesome pumping tricep workout hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you can get don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I tell myself that everything will end up alright Yeah! In day 10 we are going to do alternating cross over cro cro cross across the body hammer curls and this time we are going to add 5 pounds on the previous weight you remember the first week we started with very lightweight we're going to add five pounds and that's how we had the intensity on this workout and you do them alternating but guys you can see i did not do them alternating because i felt i needed some balance but try to do them alternating so that it just allows you to to do i think it's easier when you do them alternatingly yeah you can as well do one arm then you go to the next one i think there's no problem with that as long as you make sure that the weight you're using today is five pounds heavier than the one you used last week Day 11 is another, another triceps workout. This is triceps push down, but this time we are adding five pounds on the same weight that we used last week on the same, 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 uh, same exercise. And this is now, of course, a little bit more difficult, but make sure you do your 12 reps or four sets of this one too. It's not easy because, you know, if you did the previous weight and you added five pounds heavier, it won't be easy. On the 12th day, we are going to do a biceps workout, which is uh, cheat curls with, um, this time, with the same weight we used last week, but this time around we are using, we are doing four seconds eccentrics. And you make sure that you go up and as you come down, you count one, two, three, four. You go back up. You do this uh, for at least eight to 12 reps of four sets. On day 13, we're going to do PJR pullovers with three seconds eccentrics. And this one, you can use the same weight you used last time, or you can add a little bit of weight. On my side, I decided to use the same weight I used last week. So, um, you go down, you, you count in the reps of three, then you come up. Slowly, one, two, three, four. You come up. Very good. It's a very, very good triceps workout, guys. On 14th day, we are going to have another rest day. Then on 15th day, we are coming back with waiter inclined curls. And with this time, we are doing six pulses in each and every rep. And you make sure you do 12 reps of four sets, guys. This is very, very difficult. You can see I'm using very heavy weight, which you don't have to. But this is just what I want. I wanted a little bit on this last week. I wanted a little bit of challenge, these arms. And this is what's up, guys. Let's do this.
on day 16 we are doing a bench dips with six pulses for four sets to failure so as you go for one rep you make sure you do one two three four five six pulses but the next one that's the first rep you do that to failure guys at least four sets of this one this is super burning but that's how you grow these triceps On the seventh day, we are going to do alternating hammer curls, and this time round, we are adding 10 pounds to the weight we used on the first day, which means it's five pounds added on the weights we used last week. And this is going to be very difficult, very taxing, but you have to do it to grow those arms. Already, you can feel that the arms are really growing on this day. We are almost done with the with the 21 day challenge, and the biceps are already growing really, really fast. And I can feel the pump. So just push yourself and do it. It's not going to be easy as you add the weights, but that's what it takes. Be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possess. On day 18, we're doing triceps push down, but we're adding 10 pounds to the weights that we used on the first day that we started on um, the, the first day we did this workout. And this one we're going to do uh 12 reps for four sets. And this is very brutal, it's not easy. Make sure you lock when on your way down. There are guys who don't usually lock, but personally I usually feel that stretch well when I lock the weight down, then I come I bring it all up and I'll have a little bit of bending bend forward a bit you don't stand straight on the 19th day we are doing cheat curls with six eccentric uh, eccentrics and this one is very very difficult because six um, seconds eccentrics is not easy like we are pulling the weight all the way up then we bring it down for one two three four five six we do that for eight eight to twelve reps for four sets it's not easy but it is really pulling the biceps and that's what you need to force that growth. On the 20th day, we are going to do PJR pullovers, but this time with three seconds eccentrics. And we're going to do eight reps of each and every set, which are going to be four sets. And this is not going to be an easy workout right now because now we are going to slow the weight slowly. And we have also on our way down and we have also added some weight. So the weight is heavier and the time under tension is also a bit longer. And this is the last I think this is going to be the last triceps workout we're having on this circuit and already the triceps are feeling so much fatigued and done but that is how you make them grow my brother after this workout we need to go and now measure this arm and see how much improvement we've made how much inches how many inches we've added to our sleeves so let's finish this on the eighth rep of the fourth set then we wait and see if the it worked or it didn't Uh, 15.6 that's like how many inches no 16.6 16. 16. Hmm. you know you using inches are centimeters inches eh? yeah 16.6 uh, 16.6 so you only gain how many 0 0.6 inches of 0 0.6 almost one inch mm. in 30 days in 20 days 22 mm. days mm. so it's what my imagine you know, like if you're gaining like about 0 0.6 pounds in every month, less than a month. So that in three weeks, that means 
how much how much will you gain like the whole year so i recommend this workout it's worth your hand because it eats your arms from all areas and you guys can see from day one and today there's quite a big difference because i've been training this arm like every day so let nobody tell you that you can't train every day you cannot train a body part every day as long as you don't overtrain it like no, I, I usually say that <laughs> there's nothing like overtraining, but if you're training every day, there's that thing as overtraining, which means that if you know you're going to repeat the same body part tomorrow, don't work it so much. So like this one, you find that we've taken like all body, like the whole workout for one session, then we spread it throughout the week for three weeks. So then this is what comes. You gain more than training that body part in one day, then you rest for a longer time. So yeah, that's what's up.